what's going on guys JSGC here and we are here for another match vlog today we're heading down to London because we're going to be doing Fulham away I've been watching a lot of my vlogs back and I'm joined by my usual customer Hello. Aaron Nick said you can find yep. his link in description below before we crack on with this video though make sure like always if you want to help support my channel and make sure you subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on we're in for 6,000 subscribers so any help towards that will be much appreciated you can also find my social media links in the description below and popping up on the screen for my twitter and instagram don't forget also leave your thoughts in the comments below and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so Let's talk about this game, Fulham. Aaron, do you want to do a preview for me? I don't think Fulham need mention, need a much introduce, as you know. We're Preston, it's our arch nemesis, and Mitrovic. I reckon, <laughs> he'll, I reckon he'll bag a goal today. Yeah, I'd be surprised. I've got to say, if you wanted to bet, bag on, uh, put a punt on Mitrovic, Mitrovic to score, to score any time, yeah. I'd say, but sometimes we have got a good result down in uh, Kremlin Cottage. I don't think we've won, but we have got a draw before. Okay, I think I think a draw would be a good result. Yes. I'm, I'm not saying that I think you're going to be able to get a result because I think this is a but really think, difficult away game, but you, you never know. It's difficult, well, it's the type of games, if we could get a draw, it'd give us a much needed confidence, but we've not played well three games, because our last three have been very meh, like that. Yeah, poor Despite result. winning one, but just being under not, par. Not playing too well. Um, yeah. Last game, lost against West Brom. Donnell Fisher was sent off, but he's had that red yeah, card since that rescinded, rescinded, so, so he Fisher will should, should be starting, you'd reckon, today. That will be a big boost. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's not been a happy hunting ground for having cards in the past. It, yeah, it's one of them where if you can, you can really get a good result here today, then you can really build on that for the coming season. Both yeah. teams um, in and around the playoffs, aren't they? So we're uh, Fulham third. Yeah, the first. Sitting in third, good to um, Preston sitting in sixth place yeah. at this moment in time. So I think we're um, only three points behind. Yeah. So, um, I have my personal opinion, I reckon West Brom and Leeds are probably going to go up automatic. So it is a team that you might well come across. You might yeah. well come across them again in the playoffs if you'd make it. I think that'd be an outstanding season, by the way, for PNE if you were to yeah, make the playoffs. Yeah, six. We are three points clear. Yeah. Just let everyone know. Even if we we'll lose today, we will be still be six. Save the yeah. Bristol win because of the goal difference. It's kind of, yeah, so it's like a bonus game really, I mean you can pick up some points and it's points that, um, it, it's a really difficult point, but it's a point that would be well deserved. So. I put my neck on the line here, I'd say six wins and we get playoffs, 74. You reckon? I, re I reckon 77, so I reckon 7 I reckon it wins. could even be lower, I reckon it'd be a low points total for a second, like 85. I mean you're playing it very close at 74, I say that because there'll be a lot of teams in and around that, so it'll be squeaky bum There's time. There's only 11 games to go, situation, 11 yeah. games. So what's your score prediction for the game? 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, good. Um, mine's, um, I don't know, I find it difficult. I'd say 1-1 one, one, one would be a really good result, and that's uh, my score prediction. The thing I want pressing to do is actually go out of the blocks and go back to the old way, like that. And go and attack them and show yeah. what they can do. So yeah. it takes us far too long to get in the game hoofing, I don't like it. It's got the potential of this of like being like the West Brom game where if you it's, allow Fulham to get on top and yeah. Fulham do, like if they score first and get on top, then it's worth it could be a really difficult game. Deep, yeah. Okay. Two, uh, I think it's 2-1. Interesting. Did beat him. Yeah. Right, so next time we'll be filming, we'll be heading down to London with, of course, going on the River Thames, going to do uh, a booze cruise, so it'll be interesting. So we'll see you all again when we get to London. We're also through several cans. We don't want that. We ended up going to the Shakespeare's Head because that's our old reliable Weatherspoons pub in London because the one that we went to previously, what was it called again, Aaron? Knight's Templar. Knight's Templar. Doesn't open till 11, which is serves no purpose to us. But eat our breakfast, drink, then head to the booze cruise on the Thames and then heading down to Fulham away.
booze cruise done. Good, really cold. Imagine it'd be much more enjoyable. Not that I didn't find it enjoyable, I thought it was good, but it'd be much more enjoyable if it was baking sunshine and everyone could enjoy themselves. But it is freezing cold for now in a park. We like parks on away days. On our walk up to Craven Cottage, and the next time I see you, I will show you around Craven Cottage. They are refurbishing one end at Fulham, hence we can see the River Thames. Pinion of the ground! I like it. It's got an old traditional vibe, they're trying to modernise it, but you can see the old one over there. Yep. Yeah, it's very nice, it's all built in nice, and I like the structure of it. I do, I really like the ground, so it'll be good to see when the uh, last stand's been uh, refurbished, what it's going to look like, but yeah. It's like a typical London one fits in with its surroundings. Surroundings, yeah. <laughs> Got a bit of a pillar there in front of us, but never mind. goal then. Mm, it looked tight. Half time, summary. Uh, we started off well, 10 minutes, could have been about 3 0 up. Um, it was disappointing we didn't take one goal, that's our only complaint. Yeah. Other than that, it's been quite a close game, scrappy game. Yeah. And Fulham starting to get create chances yeah, and stuff, but when the, once the weather started to deteriorate and it started uh, raining and wind and stuff, I felt like it were possibly hail as well. I felt like it was suiting you more than yeah. uh, it was suiting Fulham, and, but the weather seems to be very on off. Yeah, so the finding space behind the defender just needs to utilise it a bit more. Yeah, I thought David Nugent's holding it up well. Uh, yeah. Mark Hughes is finding space. It's going to be interesting going into the second half, see if we can get a breakthrough. Uh, but it's nice and close, positive, they haven't conceded, it's still nil-nil, still well in the game. Um, work on an improvement. I'd probably come out like you did the first 10 minutes in the yeah, first half. Can. Try and do that in the second half. But, uh, it's exactly what I was saying to you before the game though. We need to go at the first 10, first 10 minutes. Get something so they've got something then to work with, put the pressure on and then uh, work from there in my opinion. But uh, still in it. Uh, no, close nil game. Nil. Yeah. Would you take a nil-nil? Yeah. Yeah. I'd bring Stockley on though. That gives something to, uh, fun to think about. Yeah. I agree. So yeah. We'll see you for the second half. 1-0. With the no stand there and the breeze coming in, it <laughs> is freezing. It is really cold. I think it's only like seven, eight degrees, so it's not that cold, but with the wind and everything, horrendous. So we're here wrapped up and I'm freezing. Aaron gets his wish, Stockley on for Nugent. Not going to plan this. Oh, too easy. Too easy!
the goal, that's been the end of the video. Opinion of the match result, Aaron? <laughs> Just didn't really do anything second off, which I'm very disappointed. Yeah. First 10 minutes and then we just faded. Yeah, offered something in the first 10 minutes, but it disappointed so to from there. First half. Yeah, I thought, yeah, first half didn't think you were too bad, but second half never really turned up. I thought no, Fulham were the better team. Yeah. But Fulham were the better team, deserved the three points. Yeah, no answers to it. You're still six though, yeah, which is good. Amazingly still six, that's good, so we can move on from there, get... Try, try and go for all for the playoffs. I mean, you're two points clear of Bristol City. Got some real big games coming up. Um, but it's just important now to try and get out of this little loser mentality, the losing spiral that they're getting, and try and push on from there and get some wins and get a bit of momentum going again. Because um, I said 77 points for the game. Yeah, looking at the league table, yes, teams are starting to drop points. So, yeah, you could be looking at about 73, 74 yeah. points, I reckon, rather than 72. But yeah, you never know. Um, good away day, though. Nice and it's good, a good, good away day for them. Always recommend a good London away day. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget also subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. You can find my email in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business enquiries. And don't forget also leave your thoughts, comments below, social media, all the good stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Aaron's link also in the description below. And we'll see you all again for our next away day, which is travelling us. Where is it? <laughs> There it is, Mick said he's popping it off, pulling it out, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we'll be back again in a couple of weeks, going back to London again, this time going for Luton, so see you all again for that video, so I'll see you then, so it's been JSGC, hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day, don't forget this will be on the playlist, go and check out all my other football vlogs, away days and stuff like that, if you so wish, and we'll see you all again for the next video, peace, ciao for now.